So Joe, I've got you back on our old stomping ground here at Tresham <laughs> College. And I'm going to tell you why we're here. So we're going to spin this round. So I normally would say, oh, what are we doing here, Joe? Yeah, I'll, I'll practice my line here. So what are we doing today then, guys? Well, we're looking at that felt good. magic switches. And magic you know how I like a magic switch from previous video presentations. Yep. But let's look at what we've got in front of us here, because it seems probably counterintuitive that we're not looking at perhaps one in an electrical installation. Mm -hmm. But I think this best shows what can go on. Yeah. So what we've got here is, is three lighting points, all okay. one-way switched, and we're familiar with it, are we not, Joe? Yeah, I've installed, uh, well, I've helped learners install this a number of times. Yeah. Okay, so one-way switch, one-way switch, one-way switch, etc. Yeah. And of course, we develop this job on, and we do two-way, mm -hmm. and then we do two-way and intermediate. Yeah. However, with the power of something that we call magic, we've, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to show how quickly a simple one-way circuit, imagine this is in a bedroom, yeah. can be developed into a two-way or a two-way and intermediate. So imagine you, your child's moved their bedroom around, Joe. Yeah. The switch is no longer anywhere located near the bed because yeah. they love to have everything in a different order. Yeah. And you wanted to two-way it, we're probably thinking chopping walls out, mm. fishing up yeah. studs, yeah. we're going in roof spaces, moving fiberglass, etc. Mm. But we're not going to. We're going to introduce, I reckon, in less than five minutes, two-way, and then two-way and intermediate switching. Really? In less than five minutes? Less than five minutes. You know how rapid Gaz, aka Speedy, likes a quick install. We're going to do that. We're going to cut a one or two corners, just from the point of view we're not going to show the safe isolation process. I'd like to suggest the flex is not connected this end, okay, so our consumer unit is it isolated. It is isolated, yeah. One-way switch. We've got common and we've got L1. We're mm -hmm. happy with those, Joe? Yep, no problem. Are you sure? Do you, you know, I can give you a handout on it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm reasonably comfortable Back with wearing a one-way switch. I would have had an acetate you could have looked at as well. <laughs> so we're going to disconnect the one-way switch yep. and we're going to introduce this switch here, okay? okay? They come in all kinds of different styles. They're a Quinetic switch. Okay. We've known the Quinetic brand before, mm -hmm. and we know how they normally have a receiver. Yep. Works on Wi-Fi or radio frequency. Yep. And this that is a normally goes somewhere near the light, doesn't it? Does, generally. yeah. And um, that receiver will pick up the signal from yep. the switches. Yeah, yeah. They've been a little cleverer. They've introduced the receiver into the actual back of the switch. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. So the receiver's in here? Yes. Right, here comes the first problem then, Gary. I'm not going to have a neutral. You don't need one. Yeah, what? But really? You don't need a neutral. No neutral required. No. We've got here, it's a, a one-way version. Well, it isn't, is it? Because it, will, it could be two-way, two-way and intermediate, four-way, <laughs> five-way. Okay, wow. we can have up to six. Okay. This, and, this and five others. Yeah. So we've got L and L1. Yeah. Permanent line into L, L1 switching line. Screw it onto the box. We're on what Joe would say is clover. <laughs> okay. So that's all you can do. I'm a little bit sceptical. Uh, no neutral. No neutral. All right. Okay. Well, I'd, I'd Works to on <laughs> magic. Okay. Science. Okay. So, <laughs> right. yeah. So, we've got this, this, this a slight drawback. Obviously, we've, I've changed this box off camera to a yeah. slightly deeper one. Yeah. And if you look at the depth there, that is obviously considerably deeper than maybe a standard, what is it, about 16 mil yeah. lighting yeah. box. But how often nowadays do we install a, a 16 mil? Yeah, it's generally um, yeah. a single socket box. Yep, generally. And if it's a dry lined box. Yeah, it's deep anyway. Yeah, it? so yeah. We're, we're hoping that that might be the only negative that people might throw at us at this moment in time. Wow. Well, let's get on with it. Right, okay. So it's, it's, it's really difficult. You hold that. Okay. Speedy, here I come. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to disconnect. Um, we've got two different, slightly different colours here. So let's. that's the line. Yep. And that's the switching line. Okay, okay, so we've, we've pre-established that by looking in yep. the uh, light fitting, yeah? Yep, and they're slightly different colours as well, Joe, if you that's notice that. That's handy. Yeah. Do you think that's intentional or do you think that's a... <laughs> that's just the batch of cable? Yeah, we're on my ground now, aren't we? <laughs> just going to pop this one open. Okay, so probably the clock is now ticking. Safe isolation process has been done and we're just going to pop this one off. So the five minutes I would suggest is running at the moment. Okay. Okay, is what I would be saying like so. And again, just pop that one back out. Yeah, I'm just a little bit wary because the first time I did it, I wasn't very good at did it. Did you volley it off and it went <laughs> flying across the room, no doubt. <laughs> a little <laughs> rapid at that moment in time. <laughs> so we've got our two terminations here. Yep. Uh, silver screw on the silver floor. See that silver screw no more. <laughs> Grey floor, we're okay. <laughs> so we've got our terminations in the back, so yep. just simply going to do L, um, does that say L1? That says L1, yep. Good, yeah, you've got your goggles on. Can you remember which one was the L1? Uh, I honestly can't. You really can't? I forgot, sorry. I'm so excited. So that's the that, thing, I've forgotten. That one there's L1. That's L1. Okay. So we said that was the switching, switching line. line. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's in the right hole, like so. Just and then connected. you're going to put the permanent line into L. We are. Okay. 
Right, so that's going to go in there. Yep. So and just just to double check, there's no neutral, Gary. Uh, no neutral. No, no neutral. Not required. Okay, so then we're going to screw that back onto the, the actual wall itself. And all we've done now, effectively, is replace uh, the one-way switch. Right. Okay, so move that out of the way, like so. You yep. hold that in place. How many people does it take to change a kinetic light thinking, switch is the comment below. There'll be people <laughs> people flexing their fingers on the keyboards. Okay. There we go. So let's get that polyed in. So just nip that one on like so. Let's nice. the other side on. There we go. And we've got it right way around, which is all good. So we've changed the switch. Okay, we're talking at the same time, so my five minutes is probably drifting away because I do like to chitter chatter, as you well know. So nip that one on there, mm -hmm. pop that round like so. Onto here. Switch fit me. That's it. So, of course, safe isolation. Yeah, we know all that would have gone on. We've changed the switch. Okay, it's a one way switch now. There you go. It's magic. So, we've got a one way switch here and a one way switch here. We right. need to turn it on, Joe. Okay, cool. Okay. So, so, I'm going to send you that away. I'll do that then. Okay, yeah. to turn I'll power it on. this up. Okay. I'll turn that on. Okay. We've got no power, Joe. Okay. No power. You've got to plug it in, it. mate. What am I missing? It's on the floor. There we go. Can't get the staff, can you? There we go. Okay, so. Magic. So. I've got a one-way switch. Okay. okay. Well, all right, but I mean, that's that's great. Okay, you've managed to change a one-way switch for a one-way switch, Gary, and you did it remarkably quickly. So well done on that front. And things like that make electricians' lives easier. There you go. So but I said we were going to do two ways. <laughs> we've still got a one-way switch. Okay. okay. So, so impress me. Introduce another switch. Yeah. Okay. Very slim line now. So this could be obviously fixed to the wall near the child's bedroom where they've moved their bed. So you don't need to chop in a box in even. Don't need to just drill a couple of holes, and that's on the wall. You do. Okay. Okay. So we got. This is the bit that we've got to keep secret now. Okay. Because this is really easy. Oh, right. And obviously we're electricians. We don't oh, we want to make it look hard. <laughs> okay, so go to the van, come back from the van, three drums of cable, several different switches, spend a lot of time on the arm, because we've got to do the following. In order to pair these kinetic switches. This is where it gets complicated, obviously, because pairing is a nightmare. Pairing's and, a nightmare. And, and Mr. Technical over here, yeah, you're going to struggle with this. Go ahead, I'm going to enjoy this part, go on. We've got to do the following. Yeah. We've got to press and hold this for six seconds, which is six pink elephants, one pink elephant, two pink elephant, three pink elephant, four pink elephant, five pink elephant, six pink elephant. And then we've got to do this. Shut the front door. So that's paired now. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, that worked. was the pairing process. As Work, simple as that. Works on magic. Two-way switching in your child's bedroom. That is phenomenal. So I, I don't know how long that took, but that felt a lot less than five minutes. That is unbelievable. I was dawdling, because I am. Rapid, Rapid Gaz, Gaz, AKA <laughs> Speedy. Check out those videos to see how I got my nicknames. That is absolutely brilliant though, yeah. because when, I, I remember when I first became an electrical apprentice and I was, I was you know, I was, Mr. Mr. Clever with my electrical wiring, I thought I'm going to put a pull cord above my bed so I can oh, yeah. turn my light on and off from bed. And uh, yeah, I, and I still remember going downstairs and say, Dad, I've taken up some <laughs> boards in the loft. And the look on his face was, Whoo! I started dragging cables up through the wall, trying to get a three core in. And that, wow. <laughs> That's a game changer, isn't it? It's That's phenomenal. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty clever, isn't it? So yeah, that's how to pair one switch, but I said we could do two-way, but we could also two-way and intermediate. Well, you know, if you've got a massive bedroom, yeah, you might have three switches. Yeah. <laughs> Manor Hayes has, yeah, so, so but, but it's a little bit different now because when I got sent this kit uh, to have a look at, they, they wanted to prove a point to me. So this is a standard grid switch form, and next yep. to it is the, the Quinetic version. Oh, wow. Okay, you notice what I'm doing already. Right, that's already... That's yep. prepared. <laughs> exactly the same prepared. process. Prepared. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So I just wanted to prove a point. Wow. So I only, I only unpaired one of your switches. And to pair that one, was it exactly the same process yeah. as we just followed? Yeah, just press and hold. Wow. Just press and hold. You don't do anything with the, the switches already paired? Just that one. You press and hold until the light, about six pink elephants, until it starts to do that flashing process, and then all I did was operate the switch. And it will remember this one as well? It does. Wow. So I thought that would be quite... Cute when I did yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, already I'm thinking applications in my own house for this. You know, I could put a 
put a switch by the bed, you know, it's just, it's fantastic. To unpair it, you press and hold it for approximately 12 seconds, okay, and then it goes out and it loses yep. all the pairing and then you just repeat the process, yep. press and hold for six seconds to get that flashing lamp. Once the flashing lamp is, you can pair. As far as I'm aware from the instructions and, uh, I love reading instructions, as you well know over the years that you've known me. Um, we can have uh, the, the receiver switch, so the yep. switch with the receiver built into it, and five others. Right, okay. okay so making six in total. Six in total, wow. Okay, fantastic. So, so do we believe that these Quinetic switches, with the receiver built into the back of them now, will make electricians' life easier, Joe? It's hard to see how it's going to make electricians' <laughs> lives harder, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. But just, just can we keep it between ourselves, folks? So don't, don't. Please, please don't tell everybody how easy that is. You know, remember, remember the game, remember the play. Yeah, so I'm off. I'm on. I'm off. I'm on. I'm off. <laughs> this could go on for a while.